Okay, I have bad habit in the frame here. For something you guys can look at, but just bad habit. I got this at Saturday, which I did not wrap it. So yeah, here's bad habit. There's still noise background in the. There's still noise in the background, but no one's coming into my room right now. So yeah, I started with the non moss gem stuff, which I got. A, a ghost face mask that was a wrong intro to start with. Here it is. The ghost face mask. Now got one favorite thing. Hold up a second. So there was an interruption there. So if you hear the door opening, it's for obvious reasons. So let's start with the non moss gem stuff here. You got a ghost face mask. But that's not the point. But because that habits out here. Hello, Dolphin Master. Since bad habits out here, let's start by a boxing bad happen and let's see if I can find it. Please just set the phone down. There we go. Oh, wait, that's better. And there we go. Alright, wait a second. Getting a blade out here. To cut this open. And... There's bad habit. Hold up a second. Alright, nothing's happening. Oh yeah, I'm using the a storage box that Spin Master got a while ago for this. Had to use a blade for this. Here's bad habit. Finally out of the box. Here's bad habit. It's a pretty awesome truck. It's Joe Sylvester's bad habit. Yeah, these fenders here are like in matte black, while the rest is gloss black, which is awesome. Monstrum logo, even this fender's matte black. You can see the Bad Habit logo, flames, and a little sponsor there, which I don't know what that is, DK. The front here with flames, Lincoln welders, the headlights right there with orange, I don't know what that is. Sub chocolate drive and Merry Christmas everyone. Yes, I forgot to mention it's Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas everyone. And here we have purple flames. No. Purple uh yeah, purple rims. Nope. The purple B locks with black rims. Sub chocolate drive. Nice chocolate drive. Here we have the I've seen this on Instagram before, but I just don't know what it is. I think it's just the other group zone. You can see a windshield, windshield, but the thing that Moss Gem is here is this back insert opens, which is the first time I'm getting this here. So, yeah. Right, let me try to read the chat. I don't see Medusa happening for Spin Master 2024 because it's WWE the E and WCW. Monster Energy. No monster energy. They cannot do monster energy since it's a adult drink. Terminal velocity. I don't know. Overboard. Maybe. That's a maybe. Then I know for sure Diggertron's gonna make it. Wild side. Singles of overboard. And tailgater. Tailgater. Uh. I don't know. I'm, 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 I, w I would actually be too excited to get Tailgater if it comes out. Yeah. So here it is. Bad Habit. That is the first truck out of the way. Let's see. The rest from Beeson. Let's see. I still need Grease Trap in the Slicer, which is not, which is hard to find. 
Sub Aiden's Custom Trucks. Merry Christmas. Yes, today. I actually just woke up. And... And you see, probably not because John Simmer Jr. left Team Overboard. Yes, he did. But however, I woke up this morning to grab everything and start filming. So, it's still in a box. So, uh, yeah, time to open it up with a blade. Do I need to put the camera here so you guys can see. There you go. Just open the top for it. Let me see if I missed anything in the chat. Nothing. Time to use the blade again. And this is going to be hard with a camera here. Alright, we need to put the camera down for this again. I can see what it is now. Out that actually out that actually hurt. Well, be careful with boys. I almost cut myself on live stream. But anyways. You see what this is? Let's see. AS custom jokes. Yes, I have two. There's one under my bed right now, and there's this guy here. So yeah. I still need the Black Pearl. Black Pearl is rare right now, so uh, definitely on the lookout for that one. But it's rumored Spin Master is making the Square Body Black Pearl next year, so. But it's just a rumor. We cannot confirm it. I don't think Black Pearl is part of Grave Digger. I think it's more like Team Overboard. So, yeah. Now it's time to uh, slide this through. Let me put the camera down real quick. Alright. There you go. There you go. These are actually how is monster trucks. Here's the first one right here. Which is the Poppy Trolls. I found this at a Best Buy the other day. And I got super excited, super excited when I saw it. Here's the back of the box for 2024. We also had Duck and Roll but, but passed on it. I still need the Back to the Future time machine. And yeah. And let's go ahead and open Poppy Trolls. Right. That was actually a lot easier to open. Alright, so yeah. There it is. Poppy Trolls. Get that out of there. You have a little crush car. There, now it's time to put that back there. Put this set, set aside. Here's Poppy Trolls. This, the body style kind of reminds me like a Volkswagen body style. So yeah, you can see the shirt pattern there. Pink tires, pink rims with this chrome blue B-lock. As a baby blue chassis, a this green roll cage. And so yeah, this hair actually looks awesome. The hair on a truck looks awesome. I'm just gonna leave mine for this for now. We have the like, the crown poppy wears in the film. And I don't know what this insert is. I think it would be like, just like a motor insert. So yeah. Blue and shield. Alright, let's take a look at the chat real quick. Hooked is part of Stone Crusher. So yeah. We are getting hooked in for 2024, which I'm super excited. It's been long overweighted. So yeah. Yeah, nice headlights today. There's Poppy Trolls. I don't know why Ancestry test is, but oh well. And this one was the, was the first truck that started off the in unboxing video last time. Here is the Barbie camper. I saw the hooked truck. I know it's coming. Yes, it is coming in the double pack. I don't know which series it is. But I can guarantee you guys it is coming. 
Here it is. Barbie. The Barbie camper. Bro, the five minutes, literally five days ago, I saw Barbie, the Barbie movie, and now try into a box a Barbie truck right now. And there you go. That simple. Here is the Barbie camper. Here's another yellow yellow car. Which I only got yellow cars for some reason. Now time to throw the box away. Here's Barbie. It's a Barbie camper RV, which is awesome. It has pink rims, pink chassis, pink bot, pink chop, everything. Black roll cage, white tires. Here's the Barbie paint scheme. You can see it says how is monster trucks right there. Barbie with all covered with Barbie with the Barbie logo behind it. You see even printing on the windshield there. Let's see. Our Angry Birds Gamer. I just saw your comment, and I, no, hooked this partner though with a Megodon for some reason, so yeah. Oh, that's nice, Beeson. I don't know, yeah, that, that's nice, Beeson. Here is another, this is what I don't get, there's a Barbie logo behind this Barbie logo, so yeah. There. It has like a turquoise windshield, which is awesome. See, more Barbie. Definitely a truck to mu a must have, especially for monster truck collectors. So, yeah. Now, I'm gonna unbox. Now, let's get away with wrapping. And let's do this guy right here. Which I'm gonna put the, the camera down here. And it's like, we open this. Is this guy even stapled? Nope, it's like taped. Alright, just leave it back there. And you guys can see right here, only two fitted in here. It's still got the least favorite, which is Pirate's Curse Face Down. This series I really did not enjoy, but it is a cool idea. What's up, Monster and Fan 2023? Merry Christmas! And Happy New Year, here in the back right here. Now, let's go ahead and open it. Alright, drop the camera down. And it's going to be a little too hard. Alright, and there you go. Pirate's Curse. Phased out. It is, it's basically just like a normal Pirate's Curse, but with somewhat glitchy decals, you can see right there on the eyeball. Some of the hook here, back here, and right here. But it's not really that noticeable. What could have made it better is that it mismatched the, the swords or the hat. That would have made it much more better. Here we have a red tire with a silver rim, black tire with a gold rim. You have a black tire with a silver rim and silver tire and rim. That's all this has. No, it has a copper chassis and a silver roll cage. That's all this Pirate's Curse has. But, and then here's the next one, which is kind of a surprise find. Wasabi Warrior. Alright, get that out of the way. Wasabi Warrior, finally here in my hands. Let's go ahead and unbox it. There it goes, Wasabi Warrior. The third food truck in my collection, I just need three more. Here's Wasabi Warrior. You can see it has sushi tires with, they're not, the tires are not fully black. Like if I bring Pirate's Curse, the tires are not fully black. It's just like a C, it's just like a C tire. It has a, was the Wasabi Green Roll Cage and Sushi Roll Cage with the rim there. Alright, let's see what Beats is saying. I mean, Mix 31's not all Walmart, so they have some Series 32. But, yeah, Wasabi Warrior is pretty rare. You have more sushi rolls back here. And we have the ancient Japanese style right here. 
Flames Monster logo. You have a sushi roll, which that's supposed to be a tire. Slimy so, mean, nope. The, the sticks with tires here with a fender there. Another tire there. Back there. Good news. Yeah, what's the new good news, Beeson? And right here we have a fish for some reason. Another right here. Oh, that's nice. El Toro Loco Mystery Mother. And here we have a lot of stuff going on right here, which this part squished you for some reason. You finally got Thunder Roars. Well, that's nice. But uh, speaking about Thunder Roars, I, I want a... I want a giveaway from Joey and Ease on Instagram. And I believe it's the 2024 Toy Fair Thunder Roars. But hopefully that arrives in the mail soon. Uh, let's open the pawn here. More Japanese style with Simon Salmon, $8. And Dragonor Roll, $9. Pretty expensive food Wasabi Warrior has. But there we go. Wasabi Warrior. I got a bicycle monster truck from Hot Wheels Monster Truck. Oh, that's awesome. Now here. It's time to un unwrap this one again. Where's the blade? Here it is. I still need Thunder Roars, but... I have full confidence that's coming out in in singles next year, which it, it is. So yeah, now it's time to open this. Oh, look, this one have a nitrous on here. This guy has a nitrous on here, so... Alright, let me uncover the back. There you go. I also got a FNAF... FNAF Foxy action figure. Bro, my... No, Bakesley, which is my sister. My sister, she's into FNAF. She has her room covered with FNAF now. So, yeah. Thanks to be this. I'm, I'm a pretty strong dude with one hand. So, okay, never mind. I will need to cut this too. As you can already tell by that tire, it's definitely going to be something from right there. Oh yeah, this is an eBay find. Singles with the ghost face mask right there. So, so yeah. And there you go. Let's pull that out of the box. You can already tell. Got two trucks from eBay right here. Alright, I'll pull that out of, out of the way there. Two trucks from eBay. The type D worker from doing good school. There. Now, which one do you guys want me to unbox? The Walmart Museum or Bad Company first? You guys choose. And whoever, and the most votes will get to be unboxed. The Walmart truck? Alright. Alright, well, let's unbox the Walmart truck. So, no bad company. Alright. Trucker Choice says the Walmart truck is going to be unboxing first. So, that's what we're going to be doing. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and unbox it. Oh, look, guys. Someone's on my door. Okay, so no one's at my door. So we have Bad Company. Two words for Bad Company. So we're going to leave Walmart aside and do Bad Company first. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Right here. This, I don't know if you guys know, Bad Company is getting rare now. So, And this was the cheapest one I found on eBay. It is Bad Company. Now, here it is Bad Company. I always miss these like barrels here, which is very awesome. Orange barrel. Orange is my favorite color. So yeah. And oh I guess I got lucky this one got a poster. So let's go ahead and open the poster. I haven't opened one of these in a while. So Oh can okay, already see Inspired's Curse. Here is the full poster. 
got back company. I still need that stun of a digger. And still need the chase piece and that's it. So yeah. Oh yeah, it's nice. Getting back company for your birthday. It's nice. And the back is Pirate's Curse. L bro, let me know if you guys miss opening these posters and getting the little accessory when you open the Spin Master truck back then. So. But the focus is this beauty bag company. Orange tire. No, orange rims. BKT tire. BKT printing of black tires. Black chassis. The Team Scream chassis roll cage. And here is the bag company itself. Look how awesome this is. And there, and the orange one is in stores, which is so exciting. And I yes, still have not found it. We even got printing on the negative space port. I'm just looking at this in, in a little in person. Very awesome. All the decals. I actually got to see this bag company back in 2020. But it was the last show before the pandemic closed, which I got su extremely lucky. Here we have the next truck, the Walmart Museum, which this truck was supposed to be a canceled release, but I guess they re-released re it. So let's go ahead and open the Walmart and my camera fails. Open up the Walmart Museum. There goes my... The, the Walmart Museum. Let's get that out of the box. Yeah, right here, this plastic thing right there. I actually like this placard for the Walmart Museum. Very awesome. Here is the Walmart Museum. You can see it has flotation tires with gray rims. It has the vintage leafer chassis. So, yeah. You can see these back... I think there's supposed to be two boxes. I'm not too sure. But yeah. So yeah, you can see the detail in here. The Monster Jam logo, the Walmart Museum. There's a detail that they added from the prototype to this release. And that is this like fender here. This fender right here next to the window. That is colored in, which is makes it 10 times better. The Monster behind. And I, or if you guys can see the gas panel right there. So yeah, the weird looking front grill here, you can see the lights right there, but still, it's Walmart Museum, very awesome. Oh yeah, I wonder if you guys know this, but oh, we're taking back the Bad Habit box here, but if I look under here, they've added the Thunder Roars and Sparkle Smash trademark under the box, which is kind of surprising. The Thunder Roars and Sparkle Smash. Meaning Sparkle Smash could debut somewhere in the, in the, in the near future. But next truck. Box. Right here we have this. Time to get the blade since it is cut. Since it is taped. So. Time to cut it. And oh yes. Let's start opening with this one. We got the Rare Rottweiler and Ranger Rescue. So, yeah. Alright, let me take a look at the chat real quick. Oh, that's nice. Nicolas Antwood. Here we have Monster Mart Rottweiler, which we're going to open. This one we're going to talk a lot more about. But let's go ahead and open up the Rottweiler. Alright, there goes the Rottweiler. Right there. Here it is. Orange tires, orange chassis, black roll cage with and black rims. And just the standard monster mode Rottweiler. But this variant is actually becoming rare. So yeah. That's why I got it. But, yeah. Oh yeah, speaking about having one sparkle smash, I only have one sparkle smash. Whoa. Well, that changes today. Later on in the video, but here we have Ranger Rescue. That the that we're gonna talk about the most. Let's go ahead and unbox it. And my camera falls again.
There it goes. Unboxing Ranger Rescue. And it also has this like plastic thing Fire Rescue came with. So yeah. So Ranger Rescue. As it's supposed to be like a forced ambulance style. Right here we have the few it has the same body as Fire Rescue had did. So which kinda of, it kinda of is a letdown. So yeah. But different graphics. These are down here. Same goes with this. This is different. The local front here is different. The scheme right here is different. So yeah. Now, however, if you guys pay attention to the YouTube channel Aiden's Custom Trucks, he made a truck called Rescue Ranger, which is just flip these around, created a new identity, which I'm still kind of confused with this. So yeah, and I did reach out to him saying that if it's supposed to be an inspired, a an inspired design of Ranger Rescue, he said it isn't, or more like so differently. So here is Ranger Rescue, and here it is. The next truck, the next present here. I don't know if it's gonna show up a, a address up here. And there is an address. Sorry guys, I'm just opening the box because there's an address on here. I don't want you guys to see. So yeah. Yeah, I can see why. See, it is custom trucks. Oh. Okay. Well, this is supposed to be part of it. There you go. You can see the new Nitro Neons, which which is awesome. You got the Son of a Digger, Nel Toro Loco, Sparkle Smash, and Max D. Now throw that out of the way. Right there. Look at this. The two packs. Two new packs. So, I'm going to box the Sparkle Smash first, leaving this one to last. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and unbox it right here. Alright, there you go. Leaving the uh, box there. Here is Max D. It is Tom Mitt's final year for Moss Champ. So I got this Max D here, which is very awesome. You can see. Now we get to see the detail here. I got laser beams here. With the flames. Moss Champ logo, Nitro Neon. And there you go. Max D. Nitro, which the real one did not have spikes, which is kind of for let them. Now, let, let's welcome the second Sparkle Smash into my collection. Sparkle Smash Neon. The colors are different. The hair and the horn is different. The ears are different. The tail is different. You see the Mastrum logo. The mouth. The nose. So, yeah. You can see. Very awesome for... Nitro Neon. Now let's go on with Son of a Digger and El Toro Loco. Okay, so the pack that I was about to leave at Walmart, but found it at the last minute. You ready? Start with the Son of a Digger first. It has the nice baby blue Neon blue paint job. You can actually see the sparkles on this one right here. So yeah. And here we have the paint job with pink and other tires, which is hard to tell with the glitter. Nitro Neon, Moss Jam, Flames, the eye sockets, the from grill there. Just a very awesome variant of Son of a Digger. Now let's go to the real life version of El Toro logo. And here it is. You can see 
This is the first time we've seen a Blackout Tour logo in years. So we have the colorful pattern of the flames, the pink El Toro logo logo. Yellow tail lights, surprisingly. The monster nitro neon. The teeth. The... The, the chin hair. These flames I actually really like. The horns, not so much. Very awesome. The back also monster and .com back there. So yeah, let me see what the chat's going on about. And now, here's probably the final one for this video. Or live stream. Yes, it's a box. No, it's a bag. So, let's go ahead and, and open it up. Let's see, and... Okay. I see where this is going. So, so yeah. Let's put that on the side there. Start out with the most basic one. Alien Invasion. Steel Reveal. The variant is awesome, so that's why I got it. So let's go ahead and unbox it right now. There it goes. Throw down the box there. There's like a box here. There's Alien Invasion. Mon Alien Invasion. Background logo. Monster Jam logo. It's basically just like a scrap body Alien Invasion out here. So yeah. You see the headlights there. Yeah, it's just a pretty cool Alien Invasion variant. Bro, the fact that they added the Monster Jam logo. Monster Jam.com behind you. It just makes it awesome. Yeah, it's like... Neon green chassis and and rims. We have white roll cage. So yeah, Here you go. This probably would devalue the value of my collection, but we got the normal stone truck here. Let's go ahead and unbox it. And out of the box it goes. You can see the normal stone truck. I got the no the original one, but it's all beat up and everything, so this probably will replace it. But you can see the monster.com. Yellow chassis and rims, which are awkward. We have PKT printing, which is as expected. The Team Scream roll cage. And we have just, just the normal stunt truck body, as usual. So, yeah. There you go. Now, the last one. And that is a final Nitro Neon Pack for, for the video tonight. Alien Invasion and Megalodon. Let's go ahead and unbox this. There we go. You can see we have Diner. Here we have... Let's start with the Alien Invasion Nitro here. You can see it is a pretty awesome truck. You can see yeah, you can clearly says monstrum.com there. The alien innovation, monstrum, nitro neon, green windshield, which kinda gives me the green lanterns, alien alien spaceship vibes. So yeah. There goes alien innovation. Pretty awesome. And here it is. The Megalodon, the truck that ran in world finals this year. It's not in my hands. The blue still is the same, but you can still see the glitter on it. You can see the part right there for the shark. The fins, uh, the fins are different. The Monster Jam logo, the Megalodon, Nitro Neon. The teeth are different. The eyeballs are different. Which is all the, that they have. And this truck is actually a truck I had down here for a while now. And I don't know what to do with it. And that is... Yes. The dude that I met up to get wasabi were, and the next day I already found it. So yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this one. But maybe just hang it in my wall. But I spent twenty dollars on this, this three dollars on it. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna leave it in the box for the meantime. And that is all. That is all I got here. But if I had to pick which one's my favorite out of all of them. I don't know, I just... 
new I think the Barbie camper might be the my favorite one here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. Thank you everyone who came out and took part of their Christmas time away. And hopefully we'll see you all or hopefully I'll see you all in twenty twenty four. Peace.